is a full-size scale model of the Cassini. Here are some cool new things we discovered about Saturn. It has 62 moons. That's a lot of moons. One of the coolest things the Cassini discovered was evidence of liquid water on one of its frozen moons. Because water is life, does this mean that there could be life on Saturn? No! A baby's body has 300 bones when they were born. Whoa, 300 bones? That's a lot of bones, Brielle. And they will eventually grow together to the 206 bones that adults have. 206 bones? So little babies have more bones than adults have? Yes, because they have to grow together. Ah, oh, I see. So, Karen, I'm going to tell you about those, and those are called the ribs. You have seven true ribs, three false ribs, and Ribs. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then two more. That is eleven, twelve. And then there's another twelve on the other side. That's Ooh, right. Do you know how many that is all together? Twenty-four! Twenty-four ribs all together! <laughs> this is the hand. Oh, yes, I have two of them right here, and, and so do you. You oh. have ten fingers. Ten fingers, yes. Five on each one, but you have eight. That is right. I have and eight four fingers. On each hand. Four on each hand. That is correct. My favorite fact is that both male and female goats have beards. Isn't that so funny? <laughs> I'm a girl with a beard. Isn't this crazy? Goats have amazing balance. Not only can they survive on super rocky mountains, they can also climb trees. Brielle's not here anymore. My name is. Mrs. Gorilla. We are much more like gorillas than we are different. And we actually share up to 98% of our DNA. The way a gorilla's bones are set up, mixed with their upper body muscles, gives them six times more strength than a human. Even though they're super strong, they're shy, and they would rather live a nice, gentle, peaceful life. There are two main species of gorillas, Eastern Lowland, and Western Lola. Are you a Western girl or an Eastern girl? He's a quiet guy. Gorillas have amazing communication skills. They communicate with each other by using vocalization and body movements. I love gorillas so much. They're beautiful creatures and they deserve to be protected by us from extinction. I'm seeing and waiting for the puppies. Now let me tell you about a Basset Hound. The name Basset comes from the French word Bass, which means you're short, like me. I'm so drawing. <laughs> These dots are usually only 14 inches tall. <laughs> French bull dots originate from Indians. Not friends. They sometimes make sound like yawning, yipping, and dawdling. <laughs> and they also tend to sing yawn to music or with you. Get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. French bulldog. I'm singing a French bulldog song. <laughs> Guys, what's in the bed with me? <laughs> Thank you for yawning with me. There are five different senses that we're going to talk about. Number one, taste. Our sense of taste. It comes from the taste buds on our tongue. And the tongue is only able to taste four separate flavors. Oh, like chocolate chip. That falls to the sweet category. Yes. But there's three more. Salty, sour, and bitter. Salty, sour, and bitter. Now let's talk about sight. Okay. So the one at the front of our eyeball, and that helps us focus images onto the retina. The images set are actually upside down, and our brain makes sense of it by turning the image right side up. But you know what? Me got googly eyes, so me whole world's spinning around. Let's go 
want to touch yes. the cookie monster. Let's go on to touch the cookies. Nom, nom, nom. The sense of touch is spread through the whole body. Yeah, we can feel it. Now it's time to use our nose because we're gonna smell. Oh. What do you smell right now, Cookie Monster? Oh, let's see. Me picking up something. Uh, That's it's probably the scent of cookies. Oh, boy. Me love that sense of smell. <laughs> Did you know a bee's buzz is not from, from vibrating their wings? It's from vibrating muffle. muscles. We communicate by talking to one another. But bees communicate with one another by dancing. <laughs> and by using pheromones. This is a bee's mouth. Bees have a long tongue. It helps them get nectar out of flowers. Did you know that vocal bees are female? They connect the pollen and the nectar to feed the colony and make the honey. And finally, they feed the queen. I couldn't even do that in one day. But I guess the worker bees can. Buzz. Today, I wanted to teach you some fun facts about Russia. Okay, where's Russia? I found Russia. Did you know that Russia is the biggest country in the world? There are nine different time zones. Now I'm going to tell you some fun facts about Toti Vlog. But first I have to find the first Toti Vlog. Now let me tell you a, a fun fact. It's the world's largest exporter of Tota. <laughs> Do you know what they made for Toto? Hot Tortilla! Mmm! I have the name of the next country with a yarn about. Get me from Papua New Guinea. That was the... <laughs> this is a hard one to find. Papua New Guinea. Did you know that there are over 800 Yang Woods. That's the yard Yang Woods. Now we're gonna move on to how to stay healthy. I'm playing with this guy. His intestines fell. Everything fell out. I'm gonna put on my glasses and my coat. One minute. Boom. Okay, now I put these glasses on. Dr. Brio. Eating a healthy diet is very important. It helps you from getting sick. You also need to protect yourself from the sun. To wear sunscreen and sometimes sunglasses too. How do I work in these glamour sunglasses? And then you have to exercise regularly. One, two, three. <sighs> That's enough exercise right there. When you're sick, you want to avoid close con contact with other people to keep them healthy. This is what can happen when you, if you don't cover your mouth or your nose. If when you sneeze or cough, your germs go everywhere. Achoo! Bye, germs. Oh, what does yours mean to you? Boy, love to Elmo means Taking care of people that you think about a lot. Oh, 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 and making sure that they're happy. What does love mean to you, Brielle? Hugs and kisses. Hugs and kisses. Bobby Bob. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Elmo, uh -huh. can I teach you how to say I love you in different languages? Oh, Elmo would love that. Oh, what's the first language? The first language which I know is Angus. Uh-huh. I love you. I love you. Oh, Elmo loves you, Brielle. <laughs> Thank you. And do you want to know how to say it in sign language? Oh, Elmo would love to learn sign language. So, this is how to say it. I love you in sign language. I, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's the next one? Mandarin Chinese, well, I need. Oh, do that one more time. Well, I 
me. Well, I'm me. Uh, well, I'm me. <laughs> How about French? Oh, let's hear it in French. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. You want to say I love you in German, Elmo? Yeah, let's hear it. That is Hebrewish. That's what? Hebrewish. Let's do that one more time. Hebrewish. Oh, excuse me, Elmo. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you how to say it in Hawaii. Oh, cool. Elmo in... loves Hawaii. <laughs> Aloha Valia Oe. Aloha Valia Oe. What's the next one? Spanish. Oh, Elmo's de... friend Rosita is Spanish. De quiero. Te quiero. Brielle, Elmo's gonna teach you how to say I love you the way Elmo says it. Oh, Elmo loves you, Brielle. I love you too, Elmo. Uh, kiss them. Bye. Bye-bye. Spread the love.